Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid-October 2022. Scorpio, I hope you're well. In meditation, I saw a guy who was looking through old photographs. He was binning a lot of stuff, binning documents, papers, a few photographs that were loose. And he was saying to himself, I'm not that man anymore. I'm not that person anymore. That was then, this is now. So Scorpio, it could be that someone here is, in the nicest sense, growing up. This is someone who is putting childhood days behind them. You know, I'm a man now, I need to forge forward. For my Scorpio feminines, it could be that someone here is leaving the past behind, maybe in order to move forwards with you. So whatever this is, Scorpio, I'm getting a sense of nostalgia, but I'm also getting a huge sense of it's time. And I'm hearing a really loud bell in my head. It's time. Time to take control, time to leave the past behind, time to move forward. It's time. Okay? Yeah. So whatever this is, guys, let's shift into this. Using an angel or records to help me connect with the divine and the deck I'm using actually is a new deck, Gasp of Surprise. It is the Tarot of Dreams by Chiro Marchetti. All right, people, just thought it was long overdue for a change. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Scorpios. This is mid-October 2022. What do we have for my Scorpios, please, Michael? And who do we have with us in their reading? Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Azriel, Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, Michael. Okay, I'm now, sorry, I'm lost in channeling. I'm now seeing a woman who was baking in her kitchen. She's desperately going through her kitchen cupboards because she's halfway through baking a cake, but she's forgotten to get one ingredient, and it's a really important uh, ingredient. And she's now panicking. She's thinking, well, I'm halfway through now. I don't want to go back, but I'm missing this ingredient. This is really important. Yeah, she's stressed out. She's thinking to herself, the cake isn't going to rise without this ingredient. Okay. She's stressing because it's almost as if she's halfway through. And without this ingredient, this is going to be a disaster. Okay. Cake's just not going to cook properly. Mm, what is this Scorpio? I'm now seeing somebody rummaging, rummaging through a bin and they're saying, I didn't mean to throw that away. I shouldn't have thrown that away. That's actually really important. Okay, this person's a bit frantic now. Scorpio, have you or someone thinking of you thrown something away and then later regretted it? Let's find out, guys, what's going on. Hmm. The High Priestess. Pisces energy, sometimes cancer. The high priestess is all seeing. It's a bit of a spooky card. I'll hold it up in a minute because she hasn't got any eyes. But she's holding this crystal ball. She doesn't need to see because she uses her intuition. Five of wands in the reverse. Scorpio, somebody's coming out of conflict about a high priestess. Or Scorpio, if you're the high priestess, you're settling your energies. You've come out of inner conflict about something because you've used your intuition to figure out the truth. In the past, King of Wands... Scorpio, in the past... You may have connected with a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is somebody who 
wanted to take action, I think, on you. Okay. Four of Swords in the immediate past. I feel, Scorpio, you went through a bit of a tough time. I feel you had someone rushing towards you to take action. But I think you pushed this person away, Scorpio. And there was a lot of pain in doing that. Because you didn't want any drama in your life. You thought this was going to bring chaos into your life. You may have felt this person, Scorpio, came across as a, being a little bit reckless. I'm just remembering the vision, chucking a lot of stuff away and then ferreting in the bin. Oh, I shouldn't have chucked that away. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. You may have felt somebody was too impulsive, too reckless, sitting in very off and on energy. Yes, I want it. No, I don't want it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Michael saying that's what the vision was all about. This person now, Scorpio, is sitting in a lot of regret for not knowing what they wanted. Ace of Wands. Scorpio, whoever this person is, is coming back and you can feel it. You can sense it. They're coming back for a passionate new start. I don't think they realise, Scorpio, who you actually were. Highly intelligent. Ascended. I'm hearing very intellectual, very mysterious. You keep yourself to yourself a little bit, Scorpio. You know this person is coming back in. I think, though, that this person caused you problems in the past. And you may have thought as if you dodged a bullet. Yeah, okay. Scorpio, they're coming back in. You're sitting in the Nine of Swords in the immediate future. You are worried. You're looking back at this energy. That's a Seven of Wands. That's you feeling very guarded, very nervous. Because you're not sure if this person really knows what they want still. And there's a lot of fear here. In your fears. Wow. Okay. Four of Wands. Scorpio, are you fearing that somebody is desperately coming back to you? Because they may have disregarded you and then realised they wanted you back. Are you nervous they're going to come in with a very impulsive, serious offer to commit when you don't think that they are ready? You may feel, Scorpio, and I'm feeling my way through this as you can tell, guys, because I'm trying to twin this to the visions. You may feel that there's something missing in this person. There's an ingredient missing. It may be you couldn't pinpoint it. But there's something not quite right about this person's energy. It seems to be all or nothing. This is somebody who jumps forward to say something, to do something, and then they kind of slip and fall in their face. And then they sort of backtrack and try it again. But they don't seem to, okay, Michael, they don't seem to learn their lessons. Each time they fall and pick themselves up, it's as if a few months later, they do it again. This person is not learning their lesson. That is the missing ingredient. This is somebody who is not ascending because they are refusing to look at their past actions and to learn from them. You're so intuitive, Scorpio. I think for you, this is causing you some stress because you desperately want this person to move forward. I'm hearing to grow up, to take charge, to learn their lessons, and they are just not. And you're stressed about this, Scorpio, because 
it's almost as if you want to talk to this person and sort of show them the way. You know, didn't you learn from that? Didn't you understand that you can't do that? You disregarded me and then you want me back. But you can't disregard me again and expect me to come back again. You've got to learn your lesson. The other huge problem here we have, Scorpio, is that this is someone you are wildly attracted to. I mean, King of Wands, Ace of Wands. I think this is the person that you're thinking about who is coming in. But you're very guarded because you intuitively know, Scorpio, this is somebody who may not have changed. I mean, they're coming in, I think, with a very big offer. I'm hearing if it was anyone else, it would be different. But with this particular personality, Scorpio, you're very nervous to agree. Yeah, because look at the energy they're sitting in. Page energy, page of wands. Scorpio, you're highly evolved. You're incredibly deep. You're really intuitive. For some of you, you're psychic. For some of you, you're light workers. But you're dealing with someone who is still sitting in childish energy, even though they're desperate to grow up, desperate to mature. They really want to do the right thing. They don't want to make any mistakes anymore. They want you to take them seriously. You just can't. And it's incredibly frustrating. Every time they come in, they come forward with the energy of the King of Wands, but then they behave like the Page of Wands. And you're fed up with it, Scorpio. You're fed up with it. It's almost as if you've given up on this situation, this person already, but they don't want to let you go. I mean, what you're hoping is that they come in with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Knight of Coins is Knight of Pentacles. You know, they get out of this Page of Wands energy and they step up. They grow up. They mature. Sorry, Crosswatcher, but I'm feeling a great deal of frustration from my Scorpios. You're hoping that this time, this is really going to work out. But you have your doubts, Scorpio. There's a missing ingredient. Tree of life. Oh, okay. Now that's a really powerful energy. The tree of life is all about learning lessons. It's going from step to step to step. Learning as you go. Until finally, you've learned all your lessons. You've reached the top of the tree of life. You're ready. This is ascension. This is progress. Now, could this suggest that this person is finally going to learn their lesson? But Scorpio, it may take you pushing them away for them to actually learn this last lesson. For them to actually realise that they have to change. They have to change. They have to look at the way they're behaving the way they communicate with you, what they say, how they behave and learn in order for you to take them seriously so that this person can actually be the person that you want them to be, that they should be. Ace of coins, I mean, they're coming in with an offer to commit, but they're coming in with page energy again. What's with all these pages, guys? I mean, this is a really immature person behaving as if they're going to take action, they're going to step up, they're going to do the right thing. But they always almost downgrade to a page energy again. I mean, what do you do with someone like this? What do you do? Justice. I mean, the energy coming through is of somebody who acts like a 16-year-old who is proposing. I mean, this is ridiculous. But they're a grown man 
You're wanting balance. This is somebody coming in with a justice card, talking to you about a legal contract, talking to you about happily ever after. Let's get married. Let's move in together. I'm ready. But they are coming through as a page. Now, unless Scorpio, you're dealing with somebody much, much younger. I mean, everyone has their own situation. And in that case, you know that this person is not right for you. They haven't matured. They haven't grown up. They're too young, right? If this is this person's, in the nicer sense, mentality, then this is you knowing full well they're coming in. But this time around, Scorpio, you're not, I think, going to be just guarded with them. I think you're going to say, we're done. We're done. It's almost as if you've given up on them. Now, if they are feeling that energy, that you've just given up on them, then they could be coming in with a really serious offer to commit. But they're just not ready, Scorpio. They're not ready. They're not ready. The justice card in the world. Now, the world is about learning lessons and we have the tree of life. Maybe this is somebody who is at least trying, Scorpio, to be the person that you want them to be. To be the man, right? To mature, to grow up, to do the right thing, to behave in the right way. You're just struggling believing them. I think you've been waiting for this person to sort themselves out for the longest time. And this is you kind of thinking to yourself, okay, this is the last straw. I mean, Scorpio, you're hanging on to this by a thread. It's almost as if you're thinking, should I just let the thread go? Underneath the deck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, seven of coins, seven of pentacles, okay. You've been working diligently on yourself. I think you are very grounded. You have sorted your life out. You have ascended. You know how much you have to offer. And this is you wanting somebody strong, stable, reliable, conscientious, trustworthy by your side. Two of wands. You don't know. Which path do I take? Do I give this person another chance? Or do I let them go? I'm hearing with love and leave this behind. You don't know what to do. Now, eight of pentacles, eight of coins. This is someone who, bless them, Scorpio, this is someone who may have been trying to work on themselves, trying to work on their finances, trying to work on their foundation to be the person that they know you need them to be. But they're still coming up short, Scorpio, and there's no hiding it. You can't get away from it. You know, this is a kid trying to wear a, an old man's suit. Inside, they just don't have what it takes. What is interesting is the next card is the Emperor. Now, I think this person is diligently working to try and move themselves from the energy of a page to the Emperor, but they're just not an Emperor, Scorpio. I mean, you may be sitting in Empress energy and you've got someone who doesn't want to let you go, but they just aren't cutting it, Scorpio. And it's frustrating you. I mean, this is someone who may well have moved towards you when you push them away, moved towards you, and then they might have said, oh, I'm not just not sure I'm ready, and then they move towards you again, and you're thinking, what is going on? This person doesn't want to let you go, but they aren't maturing. They're not stepping up. They're still coming in with page energy. And I think this time, you've had enough. I mean, this is going to be the last time that you give this person a chance. 
I think they know it, I think they feel it, and they're coming in with a very big offer to commit. But it's almost as if Scorpio, and I'm sorry, I'm almost getting a patronizing energy. It's almost as if you're looking at this person and you want to kind of pat them on the head. You know, oh, darling, you know you're not ready to be husband. You know you're not ready to be a dad. What are you talking about? No, I, oh, I'm hearing, I won't marry you. Okay. And this is sad for this person because I think Scorpio, they only want to be with you. They don't want to be with anyone else, but they don't have what it takes. But let's see, we have the tree of life. Okay. Ooh, Scorpio, intense reading, but then you're Scorpios, right? So I wouldn't expect any less from you guys. Um, let's start off with the High Priestess. So Scorpio, oh, my nails. Uh, High Priestess, okay. And we've got here the Seven of Wands, but in the reverse. So you are the High Priestess, Scorpio. Highly intuitive. This is you not needing eyes to see. You see through the crystal ball. Previously, you've been very guarded against this person because it's almost as if every single time they moved towards you, they caused you chaos, they caused you heartbreak. They messaged you 50 messages in a week and then nothing for weeks on end. I mean, this person didn't know what they wanted. You're nearly at the point where you're ready to give up. You know intuitively, Scorpio, that they're coming in, but they have a missing ingredient. I keep hearing that. I mean, you may have put your foot down, Scorpio, and said, I'm sorry, but it's just not going to work. And they might have kind of stormed off in a bit of a jealous fit, a bit of a rage. Maybe you dented their ego, played the field, and then they came back to you. No, you're still not ready, says Scorpio. You wanted this person to learn their lessons. They have not learned their lessons up until now. And you've, you've had it. You've almost had enough, I think. In the past, they came towards you with this very strong King of Wands energy. I mean, this is, I am going to take action, right? But what happened? What happened was they left you in the Four of Swords. They didn't ring you. They didn't take you out. They weren't faithful. They weren't reliable. They didn't act like a king. They acted like a page. And every single time, maybe four times they've done this, you've been sat in disappointment. And maybe for some of you, heartbreak, because you really want this person to be this king of wands. Right? You do. They're not levelling up. What you're realising is, intuitively, they're coming back in. Oh yeah, Ace of Wands, they're coming back in, Scorpio, because they want a passionate new start with you. But this is somebody who behaves like a chameleon. Now a chameleon changes the colour of their skin depending on the environment they're in. It's kind of now you see me, now you don't type of energy. And you're worried. What personality are they going to come in with next? I mean, maybe this person fluctuates. Maybe sometimes you've seen them as somebody who is shy and sweet and romantic. And then the next minute they're ripping your clothes off. They're all passionate. And then the next minute they're all up in their ego. No, I don't want a relationship. No, I'm not ready. This is somebody who is still kind of trying to find themselves because until they find themselves and they know who they are they can't be with you because you know who you are so archangel michael when do we have the nine of swords next to the page of wands thank you 21st of really okay 21st of October. Okay, guys, in a few days. 21st of October to 10th of December. Okay. They're going to be reaching out, Scorpio. But I'm sorry, the way they reach out is just so stressing you out. I mean, look at you. Bless you. I mean, they reach out 
not with the Knight of Pentacles energy or the King of Pentacles energy, but a Page of Wands. Hey Scorpio, how are you doing? Can I come over? Are you around this weekend? And this is you straight into the Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness, not again. Not again. What are you looking at? Seven of Wands. What you're thinking is, I should just let this go. I should just let this go. I mean, this is ridiculous, right? This is somebody who is not maturing, not stepping up. They're coming forward with page energy again. And not only that, this is somebody who's all about the passion, right? And this is you almost sort of rolling your eyes. Oh, God, they're back again. <sighs> Another sexy message. Mm, you're so sick of it, Scorpio. You're so sick of it. I'm hearing childish. They're just childish. I'm sorry, cross watchers. What you're fearing is that once they realise that you're nearly done, I mean, you know, you're in the Nine of Swords, once you get to the Ten of Swords, that's it. Once they realise that you're nearly done with this off and on, in and out kind of behaviour, they're going to come in with something really serious. Actually, Scorpio, you are more worried about that than the fact that they're not stepping up. The worst thing that can happen is that this person continues to stay at page level, but because they're fearful of losing you, they come in with the Four of Wands. I mean, the Four of Wands is somebody <laughs> blurting out, I think we should get married, I think we should move in together, and you're looking at this person as if they're 12. What do you mean? No, you don't even know who you are. I just don't think you want to lose me. So no. I mean, Scorpio, for some of you, you may say no. I mean, this is what you're worried about. If this person generally came forward to you in a different energy than the Page of Wands, okay, maybe Knight of Pentacles would be better, or better still, King of Pentacles. I don't think this is a person who is ready to be an emperor. But at least you could see that they had evolved, they had grown up, they had learned their lessons. This person was beginning to understand that to be with you in a serious relationship, they need to sort their act out. You would prefer that if they were to talk about getting serious with you. Well, at least you could see they've evolved. They've evolved, right? They've grown. But what is terrifying you is that they are offering you a very serious relationship as a page, which to you just doesn't make sense. What, of course, you're hoping for is that they do evolve and move into the energy of the Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles, right? I don't want them to rush towards me with this Page of Wands energy. I want them to do it slowly, methodically. Have they thought about this? Have they thought about what this means? It's almost as if you want to shake this person and say, do you know what you're asking me? Do you know what you're actually saying? I mean, either this person has got a rather frustrating childlike way of seeing life. You know, will you take care of me and we have kids and we live happily ever after, which mm, would be lovely, but life isn't like that. Or this is someone who is so desperate, feeling they're going to lose you, that they're going to blurt out something crazy. And you're annoyed about this. You're upset about this because it's as if this person hasn't thought this through at all. They're just saying they're blurting out whatever they need to blurt out so they don't lose you. And you're actually upset, Scorpio. Now... Tree of Life is all about learning lessons. We have the cosmos here. It could be that this person has learned lessons. They have calculated that they need to behave differently to be with you. So are they coming forward to you with a page of one's energy because they're simply nervous that you're going to push them away? But actually they have 
worked on their money, they have grown up, they have been thinking about this. We will see. But again, Ace of Coins, they're coming through as a page, offering you the start of what could be a big commitment, but they're not ready. Or you don't think they're ready, Scorpio. You know? You don't think they're ready. They're talking to you about having a brand new cycle and a legal contract. But they're coming through as a page. Are they going to tell you that they balanced out their life? That they're ready to step forward? I don't know. Maybe this is somebody who is adamant in that they have learned their lessons. But I'm just not sure you believe them. Seven of coins. Now, you may have been dealing with this person for seven months. God forbid, seven years. You're looking for stability. You're looking for loyalty. You're looking for somebody reliable to build a life with. This person, I think, has kept you standing at crossroads. You don't really want to let them go, but you don't think they're ready to move forward with you? I mean, you may have been heads down concentrating on your career. Or this is this person standing at the two of wands thinking, do I do this? Do I get really serious with my Scorpio? I think I've got enough money. I think I can afford an engagement ring. It's that sort of energy. Tricky, guys, tricky. So people, we're delving in. Okay. Michael, why is Scorpio sat in the energy of the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands in reverse? Yeah. And look at that. We've got faces of children. Oh, we've got a very young child just growing up. Six of Cups. You know they're coming back. You know it. You feel it. But are they still behaving like a child? What is Scorpio thinking about? Mm, four of Cups. I mean, this is somebody who doesn't know what they want from one day to the next. They could have acted as if they weren't really interested before and then they come back to you. Maybe this is a pattern. Maybe this person comes back to you and then acts as if they don't really want you. Comes back to you, no, I don't know if I really want this. Off and on, off and on, off and on. And every single time you intuitively know that they're going to come back to you. But it's, it's getting irritating. You've had enough of this, Scorpio, and I think they can feel it. How is Scorpio feeling? Page of Swords. I think you're going to match them, Scorpio, with their page energy. Because this is you thinking to yourself, well, you know what? If they're going to treat me like a page, then I'm going to behave like a page. If this person texts you, hey, sexy, how you doing? What's up? You Can I come round tonight? You're going to be exactly the same in their energy. You're not going to fire off at them. You're not going to say, I don't understand why you're back. You're not, you're not going to do anything except treat them the way they treated you, which is, hey, yeah, great. No, sorry, I'm not around. Page of Swords. They could be shell-shocked. It's almost as if you're giving this person a dose of their own medicine. <laughs> Intelligent, Scorpio, which course you are. What is the King of Wands energy? They came forward to you with this really strong, I'm going to take action on my Scorpio type of energy. Hmm? The devil, Capricorn. They could even have acted a bit obsessed with you. Obsessed about taking action on you. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and Capricorn energy. What's the energy that Scorpio was sitting in in the immediate past, Michael? I mean, this is the Four of Swords. You were just heartbroken about this. Didn't know what to do about this person. What do I do with this person? 
right? Yeah. Because this is someone who wanted a little bit of fun, wanted to be indulged. Oh, life is great, right? Life is wonderful. I can get what I want to get any time. You could have been dealing with somebody just super indulgent. Maybe this is a spoiled child syndrome, you know? Mummy always gave me what I wanted, so why shouldn't I have what I want now? A little bit of a spoiled brat energy. I mean, this could be a 30, 40 year old grown man, but they still behave as if they're 17, you know? You were heartbroken because you realised this person just wanted to be indulged. I'm almost getting the energy of you not exactly patronising them, but sort of playing along with it until you got irritated by it. Oh, okay, they're back again. Oh, okay, well, yeah, we'll meet up for a couple of drinks. We'll meet up for dinner, whatever this is. And then they head off and you think, oh, okay, you're sick of this now. It's actually annoying you, their behaviour. What is the Ace of Wands? You know they're coming back in. You can feel it. They're coming back in again. Yeah. But Scorpio, you're a star, right? You're a star. I'm dealing with a very intuitive, switched on Scorpio. You know what's going on. You know that you are nice and balanced. You could be a star in your own right. You're doing extremely well. And you're nice and calm. Aquarian energy. Nice and calm. You don't need this drama. What is Scorpio thinking about? What is Scorpio thinking about? Three of coins. Yeah, that they're probably going to be juggling you with somebody else. What is Scorpio thinking about? Page of Cups. Ah, fourth page coming out. Ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been really busy. No, they haven't been really busy, Scorpio. They've probably been playing the field. This is somebody who doesn't want to let you go. They have been pretending that they have been working themselves up to become the person that you want them to be, but they're simply not that person. Page of Cups says, oh, I'm sorry it's been three weeks or I'm sorry I haven't contacted you for five months. I mean, whatever this is, you know they're coming in with a little bit of an apology. Sexy texting. Hey, Scorpio. And you're thinking, yeah, not again. You're right back into the Nine of Swords. You don't deserve this, Scorpio. You don't deserve for your emotions to be chucked around all over the place because this person doesn't know what they want. I'm getting angry for you. And I felt this energy in another reading, which is interesting. can't remember which one it was now. Michael, let's have a look at this person's energy. What energy are they coming in with? They're coming in with a page of wands, okay? Yeah, five of cups. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I really miss you. Are you around tonight? You know, why, why do we get together next week? They know what they've done is not right. They know what they've done is just mess you around. This is someone who may literally go from disaster to disaster. This is somebody who may not be able to hold down a job. This is somebody who fires off at the mouth and then regrets it and people walk away from them. I mean, this could be literally a walking disaster area. <laughs> and there's you and this beautiful High Empress star energy thinking, what am I doing, even contemplating connecting to this person again? But because there's a lot of passion, King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and because you somehow see them in this energy, almost a child that hasn't really grown up, which sometimes is very attractive. I mean, this is somebody high vibe, positive, never looks at the negative side of a situation. Life is always a great fun I mean, nice energy to sit in, but this is not a serious person and you're looking for somebody who is in control of their life. So you're torn. Do I let them go finally?
What are they saying to Scorpio? What are they saying to Scorpio? Temperance. I'm sorry. I'm going to temper my behavior. I'm going to temper my words. Could be a Sagittarius. They're trying to say to you that they are learning, but I don't think they are. What are they saying to Scorpio? What are they saying to Scorpio? Knight of Wands. Oh, I'm so attracted to you, Scorpio. I mean, you're just sick of it, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling this such a fed up energy coming from you. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're all up for the passion. But this person is still kind of, I'm sorry, at the playground. You know? I mean, this is, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to say it. You show me yours and I'll show you mine type of energy. It's pathetic. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. But you know what I mean, guys, you know? Yeah. What is this person going to say? Yo, yeah, I remember when we were together. Do you remember that night? I felt so close to you. I mean, they're going to come on with the passion, with the romance, with all this intensity, Scorpio. But you're sat in the Nine of Swords. This person doesn't want to let you go, but they give in to temptation all the time. Gemini energy. So what are they actually saying to my Scorpios this time? What are they saying to my Scorpios this time? What are they saying? Queen of Wands. What they're saying, Scorpio, is you are my woman. I'm getting almost like a Tarzan Jane thing. You are my woman. You know, dragging you by the hair into their cave. And then you don't hear from them for a few months, right? You're left in this cave having to fend for yourself and buy your own food and cook your own meals and, you know, hold down the fort while they go off and play Tarzan. I mean, this is Tarzan and Jane, right? But this is Tarzan who doesn't want to grow up and be responsible. You're my queen of wands. I'm your king of wands. I mean, this is somebody obsessed with you um, who can't let you go. He refuses to grow up. And is not learning any lessons. But what do you do with somebody like this? Because it's almost the way they are. It's almost as if they can't see themselves. <laughs> and you're so frustrated. All right. Yeah. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. All right. What is the Nine of Swords for my Scorpios? I'm laughing, guys, but this is frustrating you. Yeah. I mean... Nine of Swords, King of Swords, you're shifting Scorpio into your masculine King of Swords energy. What you're saying is, OK, I think we need to have a conversation. I think we need to have a conversation. I need to talk to you. I mean, this is blunt, straight, out with it. No emotion. I mean, this is you feeling really fed up. What is Scorpio going to say? What is Scorpio going to say? I am so fed up with you. Ten of Wands. I am so stressed and burdened. Because of your behaviour. What is Scorpio going to say? I need an emperor. I need an emperor. You are not an emperor. You're a page pretending to be a king. You're not an emperor. You can't even try to pretend that you're going to be moving into the emperor energy because I don't think you ever will. Oh, Scorpio, what are you going to say? Every single time you come back to me because I leave you out in the cold because of your behaviour. Oh, please, Scorpio, please take me back. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. You're sick of it. You're sick of it. Yeah, you've had enough, you've had enough, you've had enough. Three of swords, yeah, this is you saying to this person, you break my heart time and time and time again. Time and time and time again. You come back, I think you're ready, I hope this time you've changed and I realise all over again you have not changed. 
You have not changed. You break my heart. You break my heart. Yeah. This is tricky, Scorpio. Six of Swords. I mean, this is you. We've got a skull here. This is you saying to this person, I think finally it's done. I think we're done. I want to move to calmer waters. I think we should leave this behind. It's a shame, but I can't see that this is going to work out. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, you see, and that's the problem. That is the problem, Scorpio. You love them. They love you. It's completely mutual. The chemistry is there. Everything is great. If this person would just grow up and stop behaving as if they're at school. Right? But you don't think they will. I think you've given them chance after chance. I think you've waited and you've hoped and you've prayed and you've coasted, but nothing. They're not going to change. So what do you do? You need an emperor, Scorpio. What is the tree of life, Michael? What is the tree of life? Now this is learning lessons. What is this all about? Okay, Scorpio, two of coins. What I actually think this is, is you connecting to new people. I mean, we could look at this as networking. Okay, well, if my person is not going to step up and sort themselves out, then I'm just going to go out there and see who else is available and maybe juggle this person with somebody and see how they like it. That's the energy. Let's see who is out there. Let's just see who is out there. Yeah. But what happens, Scorpio, when you do that? This person says, oh, I miss you. I want to come and see you. You're my dream. And then they get really nasty with it and come in with a knight of swords. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I thought we were together. Well, no, says Scorpio, because... I'm not interested in dating a page. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll change. I need to talk to you about this. I miss you. I mean, Scorpio, I can just feel the energy. You just don't know what to do with this person. You know? What is Scorpio saying to this person? I'm an empress. Yeah. Mm hmm. I am an empress. And I'm sorry, I need to stop messing around with a page. I mean, this is you with the nicest sense. Scorpio saying to this person, get a life. Sort your life out. You're not at the right level for me. I mean, this is really difficult, Scorpio, because you don't want to appear as if, you know, you're better than they are or you're wealthier than they are or you're more evolved than they are. But the truth is, you probably are. But you're speaking your truth. What is this person going to say? Hermit, I need some time on my own. I don't think we should talk for a while. You've really hurt my feelings. I mean, you can just hear it, right? Sorry, guys. You can just hear it, can't you? I mean, this is tough because this is kind of the petulant child syndrome. Mummy told me off, so I'm going to go and sulk in the corner, right? <laughs> Sorry, people. You could be dealing with, I don't know, a Virgo. But this is somebody who behaves like a child. You just, you're sick of it. What are you going to say to this person, Scorpio? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm dating other people. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, um, I've decided to move on from this. All right, what is this person going to say to that? 
four of coins. I don't want to lose you. You can't leave me. Or is it because I don't have any money? Four of coins. Is it because I don't have a lot of cash? Scorpio, they're not getting it, are they? They're just not getting it. Okay, what is going to happen here? What is going to happen here? Oh, wow. Okay, you may have an argument, guys. Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. I think there's going to be an argument, Scorpio, because you've kind of had enough. This person refuses to let you go. They keep contacting you now and again with these pathetic little messages. Complain when you're not really all in. When they're not stepping up. And it's as if you're so exasperated by this person that what you're doing is you're saying to them, I've had enough. I'm sorry. If you don't really know what you want, if you head off and maybe date other people and then come back to me every few months, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not available. I'm dating other people now too. I'm an empress, I'm looking for an emperor, you are not an emperor. And basically, leave me alone. This person's now stressed out because they're hanging on to you. They're soul king. Because they know that you're an empress. They know that you're going to be snapped up in two seconds flat. And this is you having a straightforward chat with them. It may turn into an argument. <laughs> what is this person going to say to Scorpio? Your death card, Scorpio. I will change. I will change. I'll leave the past behind. I'll grow up. I'll ascend. Will they, Michael? Will they? Scorpio, Ten of Swords. I don't actually think they will. This is going to be painful. They may feel upset. Because I think this is somebody who, in the nicest sense, just thinks about them. They don't think about you. They somehow feel as if you have betrayed them. When all you've done is you've stood your ground and waited for them to grow into the man that you know they can be. And they're not. They're a page. I think this is over, Scorpio. Under the deck, the chariot. I've got to admit, I think you guys are going to move forward. I think you're going to move on. I think you're going to get in your car, get on the train, get on a plane and head off in another direction. Yeah, I think with the Three of Cups, you're keeping the faith that if you make this judgment call, you'll meet somebody else. And I think you will. Three of Cups is going out, celebrating, meeting new people. And underneath that is the Ace of Cups. I think you've got an Ace of Cups coming in and you're going to feel triumphant. You're going to feel triumphant. So this is the end of an era for you, Scorpio. It's going to be challenging for you to hold your ground, but I think you will. I think this person, after you leave, is going to learn their lessons. They may try and come back to you again in a year's time or something, but I think you will be snapped up. I think you're heading to victory and a beautiful new love. You could be moving forward with, the faith card is the Hierophant, so maybe with a Taurus or a Sag or a Cancerian. But I think you're looking for somebody who is worthy of you. You are looking, Scorpio, for your warrior. Look at that. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for your warrior, okay? Somebody strong, stable, grounded, somebody who's going to do what they say they're going to do, rather than, if I can pick up the card, your page. Look at the difference. You don't want a page, Scorpio. You're looking for a warrior, and that is why I think 
you're leaving this person behind. That is why I think you're leaving this person behind. Because they're not going to change. Okay? So guys, it's been a challenging reading. Let me just dip into the charming oracle secret love messages. Let's see, guys. So what message do we have, please, from this person to my lovely Scorpios? Okay. I'm going through a difficult time right now. I'm healing my wounds and slowly becoming the person you deserve. I want to do this right, which is why I'm taking my time. Scorpio, I'm sorry. I see this as a massive excuse. I just don't want to rush things, Scorpio, with you. I just, I'm taking my time with this. This is a really important connection for me. I want to make sure that I'm ready. No, Scorpio, this person is just dragging their feet because they don't really know what they want. But as soon as they realise that you're about to head off into the sunset, they're going to come back to you. But I think it's going to be too late. I mean, guys, I mean, the death card and the ten of swords... I think this is going to be a sharp wake-up call for them. And maybe if they meet somebody else, then they will learn from this painful lesson. It might take you completely ending things with this person for them to finally grow up in the nicest sense. Okay. So, Scorpio, I'm leaving it there. Challenging reading, but I hope it's helped some of you. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.